you know, this might be from up north, and here's why. Accurite, there's the humidity, and it says dry conditions at less than 50%. Okay, I can get behind that. This, not so much. What is that, 62, 64, about 65 degrees here, and it says it's normal. Not in Jacksonville there, Accurite. We should be in the 70s and it shouldn't be this breezy. Watching what is going to become a powerful major hurricane, and it could be in the very next update here. This is Hurricane Ada. The winds have continued to strengthen 75 at 4 a.m. The seven o'clock advisory had 90, and the models continue to show rapid intensification, and now we have the potential for what could be a category four. A lot more curve in the 11 o'clock update compared to what we saw this morning. Now it's actually following more of the spaghetti tracks, which lead back into the Caribbean waters. This is something we'll continue to watch. Some of the models actually keep it in play through about the 18th of this month. As far as our wind coming in off the Atlantic with high pressure to the north, it'll slowly slide to the east. Our wind will diminish after sunset tonight, but it is going to be a cool and breezy day with 60s widespread from the sandy shores through our inland areas and some areas in southeast Georgia may only top out in the upper 50s. Elsewhere, we'll find those lower 60s. Under clear skies and calm conditions overnight, temperatures will be some of the coldest yet for the start of our Tuesday. 30s in southeast Georgia. Georgia 40s in our Florida zones and then warmer day by day as we approach the end of the work week and the weekend. That's your forecast. It's on the World Wide Web at newsforjax.com. Always just a shout away in your favorite devices.